Also, check out this huge Schumacher mural. Pretty cool, right? Hey guys, what's up, Relaxing here, and welcome back to this brand new video. And today, once again, we are back at Carabin, but this time we're going to test the new Allen chassis, and also it's one week before the race, so uh, yeah. Curious to see how it goes. We also have a mechanic today, so it should be good. Anyways, I won't be talking to you for much longer. Let's go to session one. Welcome back to Kerpen. As you might be able to tell, the engine is not starting. This was a little bit concerning, but luckily I did have a mechanic today, so we were able to resolve the issue after some trial and error. This however did mean that I missed the first two sessions, which immediately puts you on the back foot for the rest of the day. We finally got the kart working in session 3, but the engine was still running poorly. You can hear the engine misfire very clearly in this corner. This didn't concern me in the slightest however. Because the most important thing was, the chassis plus the seat were both working brilliantly. I felt immediately that this chassis does work. Now if you have no idea what I'm talking about, let me explain. We bought a brand new Lando Norris kart in June. However, for some reason this thing was very slow, which costed me a race weekend. To see how that one went, go check out this video in the top right hand corner. And for the coming weeks, we didn't know what the problem was and we kept searching and we just couldn't find anything. This eats away at your confidence, because if you cannot find a technical problem, there is only one problem left. You. But then we heard the new rumor that the latest production batch of OTK chassis actually had some faulty chassis in there. OTK is the parent company of the Lando Norris card, so you might hear me use these terms interchangeably. Also, all of these brands fall under the OTK group. It just so happened that we had a chassis that came from the rumored bad batch. Any serial number that starts with CY88 or CY89 has a high risk of being faulty. Now we have one from batch CY84 and let me tell you, this thing is properly rapid. In this session I was about 3 tenths of the pace which is manageable considering our engine issues and this only being my first session of the day. But it didn't last very long though. The engine now completely stopped and I was stranded there. I tried restarting it a few times and managed to limp for half a lap, but once I hit the back straight it didn't want to start anymore at all. So I had to push it. Across the entire back straight. Uphill. In 33 degree weather. If that doesn't deserve a like and a sub, I don't know what does. By the way, thank you guys for 12k. that good uh, yeah just issues that pop out of nowhere last time we were out no problems at all with the engines but now it's just that it doesn't work luckily I do have another engine that I could borrow from my team boss uh, he gave it to me last week so I'm going to use that now which yeah, I don't know why it's not working but there's one positive thing about this there however I immediately noticed that this LN card it, it's good it's good so that, that that's one one issue less but yeah it would be nice if I could actually do some laps today anyway let's just see so in the meantime, we changed the spark plug, carburetor, electrical systems and even the entire engine block. So let's see what we can do now. guys I finally could do a few laps and uh, well it's actually going quite well um, yeah but for some reason the GoPro didn't turn on which is a shame yeah I don't know why when I turned it on afterwards it just had enough battery so I, I don't know why it didn't work anyways we're only off by a couple of tens like three or four um, but yeah we went out on new tires and I couldn't utilize my uh, peak performance lap because uh, I got held up by some traffic 
which is unfortunate. Uh, and only in the last few laps, I finally started to, you know, get my confidence back a little bit. And that's when I set my best time. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely going in the right direction, but we're not there yet. Anyways, I fixed the GoPro now and you'll see some onboards for next time. Yeah, after changing pretty much everything, it still did not work. Luckily, we found the issue after the session. Literally, the tiniest part inside the carburetor broke. And this is something which I never take off the throttle cable, because it doesn't really need maintenance. However, if you're using the same part that you used from 2017 onwards, it might break sometimes. So that little part actually holds the throttle open inside the carburetor, so when that starts to fail, of course the engine won't get any fuel. And I guess you know what happens when an engine doesn't get fuel. It was going pretty okay. I was able to at least hold my own against the other drivers in my class. Here I waited for some dudes to follow and as you can see, I could follow them now. We're still not where we need to be, but it's definitely miles ahead of where we were at previous race. Also, we discovered a setup that was definitely the way to go, which I will share with you right now. Standard. Yeah, the standard setup on the OTK is just godly. If you need any reason at all to convince yourself that OTK is definitely the best chassis for road tax, it has to be this. Any time when you're not able to find a good setup, go back to the standard setup. It will almost always work. Well, another session done and it's going really well. Uh, yeah, we fixed the engine issue. It was a little uh, clip that was on top of the, uh, what's it called, the, the, the throttle needle, I don't know what it's called. But yeah, that was a problem and now the engine's running smoothly. Uh, but now we made a tiny little mistake with the tire press because I, this is the first time that my mechanic is working with these types of Mojo D5 tires and I forgot to tell him what the correct pressures were. Here we actually have a Ralph Schumacher card. This is the red one, this is Ralph Schumacher. It's actually an IPK card, which is Praga, Formula K, Intrepid. That's pretty much the same just as a Tony card right here. It's the same as LN, Red Speed, Cosmic, all that stuff. So we have Michael Schumacher's favorite card and Ralph Schumacher's own branded card. Also, check out this huge Schumacher mural. Pretty cool, right? When I got you, it's all gonna be alright. Thinking about all the things we did tonight. What a time to be alive. Just you and I. Just you and I. So now that we have a good base setup to work with for next week, time to do laps with it. And with the footage in the background, let's discuss a problem with the other LN chassis. Like I said, in the beginning of this video, the old LN chassis came with batch number CY89. This batch was released this summer and it was probably produced somewhere around March or April. With the enduring Ukraine situation and the shortages in raw materials this causes, the quality of steel used by OTK probably took a big hit. Another explanation could be a simple production error, but this seems far-fetched since there are a lot of chassis experiencing this same problem. Luckily, we now have a chassis from batch CY84 and it's absolutely rapid. Now, are you worried that you have a bad chassis too? I'll let you guys know the symptoms I experienced. The car suffered from understeer, oversteer, excessive tire wear, overheating brakes and most frustrating of all, it did not really respond to setup changes. If you have any of these symptoms and your card is from batch 88 or 89, try to test someone else's card and let them test yours. Then you'll know for sure. Anyways, I did quite a lot of laps at the end of the day. I now feel semi-confident going into the next race. Let's do one more lap in preparation for the race next week.
right and with that last session returns the peace to this beautiful track yeah it was a really good day today uh, the new lens chassis feels good the jacko seat actually feels good but i think that's also due to the fact that it's fucking hot so almost race week uh yeah feeling a little bit more confident going into this one uh yeah which is good of course my confidence was completely wrecked after that last race but now it's back kind of so yeah guys that was also it for this video now remember, if you enjoyed that, then please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. You know you really help me when you do that. On screen right now, there are two other videos that you might enjoy. But for now, that was it. Peace.